morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to a day in my life here in Singapore. Hi everybody, my name is Mayumi, and just like you, I'm in the journey towards getting it together. So if you're interested in videos about self-improvement, plus size videos included, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell right beside it so you're updated every time there's a new upload like this one. So for today's video, I'm not naked. Okay, we are starting our day, a very sociable day, by going to an affordable art fair after their three-year long hiatus. So let's get ready for the day. I'm so happy because Singapore is now starting to open up and events are starting to pop up here and there, which is fun because unbeknownst to all of you, I actually majored in arts. I took fine arts, major in advertising arts for my bachelor degree, so this event really resonated with me. I was so stoked to receive this invite. Art is really something that I enjoy. I'm not really the most artistic person per se, but art has definitely influenced my career decisions because I started out as a graphic designer. I then ventured into digital marketing and marketing itself. And now I do content creation, which is heavily influenced by creativity. So I've learned now that I'm in my 30s that I'm an art person. I'm a creative person and I'm gonna cling on to that because it it gives me so much joy. I'm very passionate about it. And if I earn from it, then win-win. The Affordable Art Fair will be showcasing over 8,000 contemporary arts. And if you are in Singapore and you're interested, I actually have a discount code for all of y'all, which I'll be flashing in the screen right now. You can hop down and see it for yourself. So now that you're watching it, the event is actually on. The event is from Friday to Sunday, I believe. So go and get your tickets now. Okay, next. Sunblock. You know, I'm surprised because when I asked y'all on Instagram what you wanted to know more or to see content more of, I'm surprised that my daily life is of interest. <laughs> I don't know why because I'm such a boring person. No, I'm not. I'm an exciting person with a boring life. <laughs> okay, I'll get ready. I'll get ready right now. That's what I'll do. See you later when this gorgeousness is a lot more gorgeous. We are good to go. Well, not really. What am I gonna wear? I don't know what I'm gonna wear. Cause y'all know I have this inclination towards dark feminine energy when I'm heading out. But also at the same time, on the opposite end, I have a fashion sense of an 18 year old, which is a lot more playful and colorful and crop tops and very young. <laughs> you know, I know it's cliche to say that I don't dress up for guys because I don't. I dress up for myself. I also dress up for the activities. Do I want to feel comfortable? Do I want to be sexy? Am I going to walk around that much? Or do I want to feel feminine? And another huge influence on my wardrobe is creating content. So if I want to take good photos for that day or whatnot, that heavily influences what I'm going to wear for the day. So I'm having real difficulty choosing what I'm gonna wear today because a part of me wants to go towards the dark side but at the same time, I think I'm gonna go for something more comfy. What do you think? What should I wear? Oh. So my first instinct was to go for this cute crop top, as I said, 18 year old. But I had the change of heart. I haven't really used this dress yet. It's very feminine, so I think this is what we're gonna use. Yeah, I think this is cute. Okay. Let's now fix our hair. Okay, the problem with this dress is the fact that I don't have a suitable bag for this that's big enough for that huge ass camera. Because you have to see how huge you are. See? You're huge! You're humongous! Like, come on. How am I gonna take you? Building, which is quite memorable because I did some modeling for F1 and this was the location as well.
of mine <laughs> and also someone that was sharing the previous co-working spaces I was at this small room <laughs> Let go. 